Hey guys, Bell Big Set 3 here. So I wanted to talk to you about the touchscreen dash and how it works with our system. So the touchscreen dash communicates to the ECU over the old um, COM port plug that we used to talk with the USB adapter to the Gen 3 setup. This is now used as a CAN to talk to the touchscreen dash itself. We have a little plug here that just needs um, uh, power and ground on the harness. Um, this wire is for backup camera if you'd like to hot up a backup camera, which then plugs into right there. And then this plug simply plugs into this plug right here. Now, um, I don't have plugged in here just for demo purposes, but those two guys obviously could join together. So with the touchscreen dash, you've got a couple different menus here, okay? You've got this base menu that just simply has the logo. I come over here, this is where the nuts and bolts of it are. You can set your different boost curves. You can set your SR2 ETM curve. So if I wanted to come over here and change my SR2 ETM curve, let's say I just wanted one, hit that check mark, and then there you go. Now I've got a one in there instead. So if I wanted to change at the very last minute, track's going away. You can dip, you put your different boost curves in. I can change my three-step, my two-step. Um, basically just change the power management on the fly right before you go up to the starting line makes it really easy to do okay that's your base page right there for setting up the parameters if i want to go over to sorry if i want to go over to my gauges this is the home page for the gauges right here so again your critical parameters right we gotta have tack in the middle the oil pressure low in the upper right hand corner is there because oil pressure is obviously low it, it's going to just say say it's low based on um, I believe a 15 pound setting in the software, okay? So you have your left bank lambda, right bank lambda, your spark advance, your duty cycle, mile an hour fuel pressure. Then we got our battery, water, oil, and boost on the bottom, okay? So there's four pre-built pages of gauges for you there. So this is the second page of gauges here. Intake air temperature, oil temp in the middle. Again, left uh, lambda's left and right bank accelerometer. Um, our base gauge is down here on the bottom. If I go to the third page, these are EGTs, so if you have your big bands plugged in or the PCS set up, it will display the EGTs right here on this page. And then over here on the fourth, you've got your lambdas. So again, even if you just have one lambda, it's going to display your single right bank lambda going up and down. That's going to give you the indication of what your lambda currently is. So we do have um, the camera section right here. If you do want to hook up a backup camera to it, you know, if you're in the pits, you're backing up, you wanted to see what's going on behind you, you more than can, you're more than welcome to do that. And again, we have a little section here, which can then basically be used to go back and darken the screen or lighten the screen. That's what that wrench is for. So if I go back to my home page here, that's my gauges. If I choose number one for the oops, my home page, then I'm back to my home page. I'm ready to go. So again, the biggest thing about the dash is that guy right there. Your ability to make your last minute changes on the track and the ability to come over here and look at your gauges. So that's the touchscreen dash that we offer. If you guys have any questions, feel free to give us uh, an email or a phone call or a direct message. We'll be happy to help you out. Have a good evening. Thanks.